Right, let's have a look inside. Here's our cigarette lighter. First thing we notice is it it's floating around in there, which isn't a good start. So pull this cup holder off. All we do is give it a good pull upwards, like so. Cigarette lighter comes out. That's the back of it. All the wires look good. Everything's plugged in. This is broken here. I think there's a bit broke off here as well. It's got plastic underneath. All we need to do is put a little bit of insulation in there. Something cardboardy. <coughs> and then this won't be doing this. Shorting out on the bottom. The bottom's metal, it can short out on that. Still all moving about, but for now, we'll see what's wrong first. I also brought with me, brought with me this memory saver. Um, it's all we. I don't really use it anymore as a memory saver. I just use it for checking cigarette lighter sockets. Um, they come with a nine volt battery in them. No nine volt battery in it. It's empty. So that's all we're going to use it for is this LED as a test light in the socket. What we do if we plug that into the socket. Turn the ignition on. So you can see nothing on the test light. So there's probably a fuse blown on that. So we'll have a look and we'll see if here is a fuse. Well, we'll have a quick look on the computers and see where the fuse is and what number it is. And home, click on information, and component location, and fuse boxes. And that won't show us where it is. Click on there. We go on here. Place your fuse box. Hold you in here. And if you go to the fuse box, place your one. What we're looking for is cigarette lighter. Cigarette lighter, that one there. Number 68, and it's a 15 amp fuse. And it shows you in the picture 58 and a 15 amp fuse. So we go back to the car. These Mondeos, you need the key to open the bonnet. Do that. The bonnet. What we're going to do, we're going to use a power probe hook. So we're going to use a battery, Duracell battery. That's the first. And the Duracell did car batteries. And there we go. So what we do, we use our power probe hook. What we've got here is our power probe hook and a little extension lead on it. Left over from last time, but we use that. 
Very great tool this is. Red to red, black to black. See it comes on, plays a little tune. Always test it when you put it on. Touch an earth, get a green light and a dull noise. Touch a live, get a red light and it shows 12.4 volts. So what we'll do, we'll go and find this fuse box. Right, this is our fuse box in the glove box. What we do, pop this down here. On these ones, make sure we're getting that. Yeah. On these ones, what we want to do, push the edges in so it drops down even further. Put it towards you. Like so. Okay, there's a wire at the back, you can leave that on. So what we'll have to do, bring the camera down. You can see here, there's a picture of a fuse box on the side. And if you look at that, let's just zoom into that. Okay, we'll have a quick look at this fuse box on the side. You can see it's listing the same one. This one here. U68, showing a little picture of a cigarette lighter on it. So let's have a look inside, see where it is and what it looks like. And there we have it, our fuse box. There we go. Here we have our fuse box, it's a three up the side. There's a fuse in the bottom, looks like somebody's been in here before. So, one, two, three, on the left hand side, that blue one. It doesn't look like all the rest. So it looks like they've had problems with it in the past. Okay. Okay, we're just going to test this with our power probe hook. If we touch the earth side of it, Yes, the black wire. So we chuck that in there. You can hear it bleeping away. We look on our, our probe hook, we get a little lightning bolt. If we press that, see hot shot pass. That's showing we have a good earth. If we touch the other connector, the live side, absolutely nothing. Nothing. Now if we plug our, our little memory saver back in, fucking tool falling in the way. It's quite hard to do this guys with one hand. Uh, as you can see we've got our little memory saver back in. Now if we touch our live again and watch the power probe hook, you can see it's changed to ohms, 7.08 ohms. So that's showing the feed all the way back to the fuse, or if we've got a short. But I think that looks pretty good to me, it looks more like a fuse now. We could live that here with the, the hook and see it working, but what I want to do is live it at the fuse itself. Test the back of the fuse, so we'll just do that. And what I 
we're doing is just going on the back of the fuse like so. As you can hear the power probe without looking at it is bleeping away. And then you've got 12.4 on the screen. If we check the other side of the fuse. Got nothing. And we've got our 7.09 ohms here. So what we're going to do now is the fuse, but we'll just show you how good the hook is. If we go into select, change it to 15 amps, same as the circuit we're testing. And if we go down, change the switch to a pulse. Select. So now when we press plus, it's going to give us a little pulse coming out the tip. So what we'll do, we'll take that to the, the blown side of the fuse. That's what we're doing now. If we look at our tester, you can see that flashing away now. Showing that it is a fuse, the circuit's good, the earth's good. Everything's good, we've got a nice live feed now coming through the hook, showing that working. So let's pull the fuse out and check it. Oh dear, here's our two fuses. This is the blown one, and there's a good one. So you can see it's blown just about there somewhere. Okay, let's pop the new one in and insulate the cigarette holder. All we've done there is put a bit of duct tape around it. That'll insulate it, stop it moving about in there so much. You can see our test is still working. Thank you. Okay, there we have it, back installed. Press that down and open. Nice and firm in there, no rattling about. And we can see if it works. Pop this in. You can see a little light appearing on it. Take it out. No lights. 